Hello, everybody. Sorry, it took me a minute to get going here. I kept having the spinning wheel and it wasn't connecting. So hello, it, it's working. Today's Thursday, March 12th, 2020. And uh, I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. And I thank you for those of you who are joining me today. And if you can't join, please remember that this video will always be on our um, Happy Little YouTube channel. So if you can't join me during the live stream, which I completely understand because some people are at work and they can't uh, watch when it's live. If you can't join me for the live stream, just know that it will always be on my YouTube channel. So if you could go and watch the video later there, you will still be able to qualify for any giveaways that are happening. You don't have to be on the live stream in order to win any of the giveaways. So if you watch it later and follow the directions to be entered to win, then you can still win. So a bunch of people are saying hello. Hello, Kim. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Sam's Gillum. Good to see you again. Thank you so much. I have so much to talk to you guys about today. So much to talk about. And so I have a lot to get through. I'm going to try to jump right in. So first of all, thank you for joining. It's been a crazy couple days, right? Like there's a lot going on out there. So it has been a crazy couple days. So um, I hope that everybody's staying safe. I hope that everybody's staying healthy. Uh, just take care of yourselves. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm just sending good, healthy vibes to everybody and saying prayers that everybody's doing okay. Um, I have to share with you guys this story about my little one. For those of you who don't know, I have six kiddos. I have a 13-year-old, four 11-year-olds, and a one-year-old. And this morning, my one-year-old gave me a hug, like her first real hug. Like she put her arms around me, around my shoulders, and she squeezed, and she even patted my back. And she just sat like that for a very long time when I got her up this morning. I thought, oh my gosh, she's learned to hug. Like I've said to her a bunch of times, can you give me a hug, give mom a hug? And she kind of doesn't get it. But this morning she got it. And I was so sad that I had to like get going and get the kids ready for school because I could have sat there all day and just hugged her. She just cuddled with me for forever. And the squeeze was the cutest thing ever. Like my heart was just in a million pieces because it was just so adorable. The little squeeze, I mean, she could, couldn't fit her you know, arms all the way around me, but she just squeezed, it was just adorable. So I had to share that, like a cute little story to maybe brighten everyone's day. If you could all feel my little one's hug, hopefully it will bring um, a smile to your face. Kim says, those are the best baby hugs. No kidding. And I kind of had forgotten about it because it's been a while. My older ones are older and it's been a while. And so when that happened this morning, it kind of caught me off guard and it's been kind of a crazy week personally. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best ever. Nancy says, hi everyone. I'm working at home today because of the coronavirus threat. So I am excited to join live. Glad to have you, Nancy. Sorry for the reason but glad that you can join us. Yay. Sharon says, oh, that is wonderful. Yes, it really, it seriously was. And then my daughter, my other, one of my other daughters came in and she goes, oh, I said, oh, she's giving me a good morning hug. And she said, oh, I want a good morning hug. Can you give me one? And so then she went to her sister. I guess I had to share her and she gave her sister a hug. Whatever. No, it was super cute. I'm just kidding. Uh, Beth K says, imagine how long I had to wait for that until I got a first hug from my grandson. Oh, they're so precious. And those, the other thing that gets me is every time I give her a kiss on the cheek, she's got, you know, like all babies do kind of those puffy cheeks and you just kind of sink right into it. It's all, oh, it's just precious. Happy Crisioni says hi from Italy. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining in. Okay, so lots to get to. Um, let's see, Needlework Market was last weekend. There were lots of cross-stitch patterns that were shared from that that I'm very excited about. And as always, I keep telling you guys, if there's anything that you're looking for that I don't have, tell me because I'm gonna be placing an order for updated cross-stitch patterns. And if there's anything that you want, I am happy to add that onto my order and get it for you. So just keep me in the loop. If there's something you're looking for, you're looking for, I would be happy to get it. And then of course, I've been getting lots of catalogs for upcoming fabric. I need to start making decisions about what 
I'm going to carry for July, August, September, and I need to start placing those orders. And so I'm looking through catalogs, trying to make decisions about that, which is really difficult because there's so much cute stuff and I can't order everything. And so um, if you know that there are particular collections that you're looking forward to, um, let me know because I would be happy to try to get some of that stuff for you. Uh, otherwise I have to sit down and I have some decisions to make about the stuff that I'm going to carry. So that's always a fun time, but also a hard time because those are tough decisions to make. Um, she says that in Italy, we are okay. Thanks. Good. Glad to hear it. Okay. Then we're going to move right into Frosty Forest. For those of you who have joined our Frosty Forest Stitch Along, this is the hashtag HLSS Frosty Forest SAL. And we are on month three for our Frosty Forest Stitch Along. The pattern that we are working on right now is Snowman's Cottage. Super cute. JJ's Forever Girl says, I want the new Blackbird book, but did not catch the name. Do you know of it? I don't know of it, but I'm going to write it down. Blackbird book? Blackbird book. I will look it up. Um and see what I can find out about it. And then I'll look into that. Thank you, JJ's forever, girl forever. I appreciate that. So we are looking at Snowman's Cottage. We're in month three. This is what we're stitching. Here's the progress that I have made. And I have seen you guys using the hashtag and making updates and it's great to see. I love it. I love seeing um, all of your stitching that you're doing. And it doesn't matter if you're behind or if you're ahead or if you're right where we are, it doesn't matter. So don't stress out about that. This is like supposed to be enjoyable and fun and relaxing and just kind of a community of supporting each other and sharing your stitching with each other and, you know, encouragement. And so it's supposed to be a good community. So never feel like, oh my gosh, I'm far behind or, oh, I'm embarrassed because I'm so far behind. Don't ever feel that way because we're just happy to share um, the stitching with you. And I'm so happy that you're stitching along with us. So thank you for using that hashtag and thank you for posting updates. That's really exciting to see. Sharon says, I would slowly like to slowly start collecting the glitter village, but don't. Okay. I've heard of that before. So that's good to know. Thank you, Sharon. And I will look into that because I am gonna probably next week, I need to start placing an order for more cross stitch patterns. So, um, that's good to know. Thank you. So here is my Frosty Forest. So this was the first one we did, which was called Raccoon Cabin. Then we did Snowy Deer, which is right here. And then down here is Snowman's Cottage. So that's kind of how far I am right now. So I hope all of yours are coming along and that you are enjoying it. I think it's a cute stitch. I'm enjoying it. And I kind of can't believe we're in the third month. I will be honest though, those designs on the side of the house, it was kind of, I don't do well with like stitching and skipping. I always forget. Once I start stitching, I'm like, go, go, go. And then I forget to skip some of those spaces. And then I look back and go, oh, there's a design there. I'm supposed to skip that. And so then I have to rip it out and then go back and do it again. But it's going to be super cute once it's done. Um... Nancy says, I think the ladies garden journal from summer house stitch works looks interesting. Okay. This is so good. This is such good information because the other positive thing about that is sometimes you guys know about stuff that I've not heard of. And so it introduces me to new things too, which I love. So thank you for that. So I hope Frosty Forest is going well. Invoices for the next Frosty Forest. We're still a couple weeks away from that. They won't go out for a couple weeks. Cause we're, you know, it's still, we're still at the beginning of March. Um, but I hope Snowman's Cottage is going well for you guys. Then the second stitch along that we started was Cottage of the Month using hashtag HLSS Cottage S-A-L. And Cottage of the Month, last month we started with March. So this is my March that is finished. I am not going to finally finish it until I receive the frames. So for those of you who don't know or didn't catch it the last time I talked about it, I was able to place an order with <clears throat> the frame company 
that uh, framed these patterns in the samples that you see on front of on the front of the patterns or in a lot of the posts that I post to Instagram. I was able to place an order, so I'm hoping to have that, you know, in a monthish or so. It does take a while to get those frames made because they're each individually handmade, but that's going to be my final finish once I get those. So this is March. And then right now we're working on April. See the frame in that picture? Those are some of the frames that I have ordered and they will be coming. So this is April and I finished April. I haven't ironed it or pressed it yet. So that's what April looks like. Those little carrots were adorable. <laughs> so cute to stitch. And I liked the window pane so much better in this one. In the March one, you kind of had to do back stitches for the window panes. And it was right in the middle of the fabric threading. And so it just, those stitches just were hard to get straight. Um, but this time they're just regular cross stitch, cross stitches in between the window panes. So that's April. Sharon says, I love the purple house. So do I. And I was talking with, Kim about this. I had debated about changing some of the colors and I debated about it for March too. I thought about changing some of the colors, but I'm kind of glad that I haven't changed any of them um, because I'm going to display them all together. And I think that if I start changing colors, I would tend to go towards the same colors a lot and kind of go towards the same hues and the same colors, the colors that I tend to favor. And since I'm displaying them all together, it, I think it will be nice to have a variety. So I'm glad that I didn't mess with any of the colors because um, I think it'll look nice with all the different colors when they're all done. So those are those two for Cottage of the Month. And then this month we started Farmhouse Christmas. So here's the hashtag, HLSS Farmhouse, S-A-L. So use this for any of your posts and updates. Love to see them. And this is the pattern that we are stitching this month. It's called Little Red Barn by Little House Needleworks. Super cute. You guys should have all gotten your kit. And in the kit, you got your floss pack, you got your pattern, and then you got some cloth. Now, quickly, I sent out an email about the cloth, but I, while I have you here, I want to talk to you about it. Um, so I had gotten an email saying that there was concern that maybe some of the cloth, the cloth was too light for some of the thread that was being used in Farmhouse Christmas. So I sent out an email to all of the stitchers that if you guys are concerned about your cloth, to please contact me. Send me an email, happylittlestitchshop at gmail.com send me an email and we can kind of work through that together. Um, because the bottom line, bottom line, I want you guys to be happy with your stitches. We put in so much time on these stitches and it should be something that you're happy with. And so if you start and you notice that the thread isn't showing up as much as you want, just contact me. I am happy to help you through that. It's no big deal. I want to provide good customer service to you guys because I want you to uh, have a good experience with Happy Little Stitch Shop, and I want to keep you coming back. This is a family business. It means a lot to our family, so we want to do the best job that we can for you guys, and um, I'm happy to work through that with you. Now, some people coffee tea dyed their fabric. They wanted it a little bit darker, and so they coffee tea dyed it, and they've been very happy with it. I've had a couple customers contact me and say that they've done the coffee tea dyeing, and they loved it. And I debated about coffee tea dyeing. I was going to do that. I was a little scared to try it, but I still do want to try it. And I am going to try it, um, but I haven't done it yet. So I've got some comments here. Hold on. Uh, Kim says, loving farmhouse Christmas. Sharon says, me too. Nancy says, me too. I tea coffee dyed my fabric and it looks great. And then Sharon did too. So yes, Nancy and Sharon, I knew both coffee tea dyed. I'm so glad that it worked out and that it looks good. This is where I am with Farmhouse Christmas. That's how far I've gotten. So I am loving it too. I mean, to be honest, there are some stitches that I like better than others. 
And I started stitching this this week and I am really liking it like a lot. Um, it's, it's cute. It's adorable. I, the stitches, I mean, I just like it. I like it a lot. I'm having a good time stitching this. So I'm very excited to keep going with it. I'm excited to get, um, the next pattern started next month. Once I finish this, I just love it. The detail is so cute. The other stitch that I have really enjoyed has been cottage of the month. I can't wait to stitch up those little cottages each, each month. They're so cute. And once I start stitching them, I'm just like, I can't put it down and I'm happy and I'm enjoying it while I'm stitching. And I found the same thing with this. Um, yeah, Kim says, I can't wait to see how your fabrics look with the coffee tea dye. I can't either. So I'm really excited to see, I got a sneak peek of Sharon's, but I'm excited to see um, how those, how your stitches look on there. Nancy says, I will post a picture on Instagram later today. Awesome. And Sharon says, wow, it looks good, Angela. I will post a pic when I get more stitching done. Awesome. So the other thing to talk about with Farmhouse Christmas is this outside border that you see. This is not part of the pattern that you get. This is an optional addition if you choose to. I did send out a newsletter about this with a link that takes you to Little House Needleworks website so that you can access this outside border. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. You can add it if you want to. It's completely optional, completely up to you. I think that it's gorgeous. I love the border. And so I decided to go ahead and add it. So I also had some questions about how to start if you're going to add the border. The general rule of thumb is to, to measure in two inches to where you stitch. So I use my ruler or tape measure and I measured down two inches from the top and in two inches from the side. And I started with this little red flower. And then I did the border first, um, which on... When you down, when you open it up on Little House Needleworks page, it gives you like this corner is on one page and then you go down further and it has a different quarter, corner. I think it has four pages with a corner on each page for the chart. And so I just did, as you can see, the first corner in order to be able to start this. I debated about doing all of the middle stuff and then adding the border last, but I'm glad that I started with the border and it, then it gives me a clear, I don't have to worry about messing up with the counting. It gives me a clear idea of uh, exactly where this box needs to start. So hopefully that answers your questions. If cloth, contact me if you're concerned about the, the color of it. Border is on Little House Needleworks website. So you should be able to have access to that if you're interested in adding it. And then this is my progress so far. Okay, so that is Farmhouse Christmas. I'm so glad that we decided to do that stitch along because it's it's a lot of fun. I'm really excited about continuing to go with it and getting it finally finished and we'll have it done in time to display for the holidays this year. So I'm excited about it. I'm really glad that we decided to do that. And that was through a lot of feedback from you guys. You guys voted on what you wanted the next stitch along to be. And that was what got the most vote votes. So yay, it's a lot of fun. Sherry Hampton, how big is Farmhouse Christmas as a whole piece? That is a good question. Does it say, hold on, because I have it. So there's a link below everything that I'm talking about. There is a link in the description box on YouTube that takes you to my site that has everything that I'm talking about on it. Um, but I have that listed out here. So it'll be about a 13 inch square. So the stitch count when you're stitching the entire thing is 209 by 209 stitches. And so it'll end up being, we're stitching on 16 count Ada. And so it'll end up being about a 13 inch square. So I'm excited. It's been a lot of fun. I am really enjoying that stitch along. So I'm very, very happy that we decided to do it. Um, yep. You were right, Nancy. So about 13 inch square. Okay. Then on to new so stitch alongs. I put some new stitch lungs on the site. Number one, which I've already had some people sign up for. Thank you. 
is called Welcome to the Forest. And you think I would have brought a pattern to show you. I will show you from on here. Welcome to the Forest is a series. It's a seven part series done by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. And here is what it looks like. Uh, can you see it? So that's the whole series. It's very, very cute. It's kind of a springtime summer version of our um, Frosty Forest. And so that Stitch Along Reservation is online. Again, thank you for those of you who have already signed up. This one will start in May. We're going to start it in May. So I'm going to take like a little break next month of not starting a new Stitch Along. Um, plus, I need to try to sell some of the stuff I have in the shop so that I can pay for the Stitch Along. <laughs> and then... Uh, We'll start the Welcome to the Forest Stitch Long in May. So that's out in the in the shop. The link is below in the in, in uh, YouTube. And then from Needlework Market, I'm sure all of you saw the the premiere or the preview of Kringles. So Kringles Cross Stitch is a pattern that was just released at Needlework Market by Little House Needleworks. And it's like a 1950s department store. The detail, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, we need to do a stitch along for that. I used to work in a department store in college to make some money while I was in college. Um, and so it kind of reminded me of that, but kind of not really, because department stores in the 50s were so much different than they are now. And this pattern has so much charm. I'm just very, very excited about it. So you can see that it's a department store. And in each window, there's like a new um, scene. Christmas trees, toys, there are little chandeliers in these little windows. Um, there's a baby carriage, teddy bears, clock maker window. It's just very, very cute. So it's called Kringles. The reservation is out online right now. Um, and so my plan for this, some of you might be wondering, it's not a series, it's one complete pattern. And so my plan for it is to stitch different sections together because this is a pretty large stitch. And I think it would be really fun to have a community of people to stitch along with, especially for one that's so large. Um, and so much fun. I mean, this is such a classic, charming cross stitch. Like I'm very, very excited to stitch this one. I think it'll just be adorable. Um, so my plan is to stitch different sections per week. So we'd probably take a couple weeks to put down the foundation for the stitch. So like the roof, maybe all the bricks outlining the windows. <clears throat> and then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other sections. So it would be like a 12 week stitch along. Of course, we could always stretch it out if people felt like they needed longer than, um, than just a week per thing. Like maybe we do it every two weeks. That's I'm totally flexible to that. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about that. I've already had a ton of people sign up for this stitch along. So I was super, super excited about that. And then the other thing that'll be different because it's all one pattern, you won't be getting something each month. And so uh, you'll just get one kit. You'll get the pattern, you'll get the floss kit, which is like 28 or 29 skeins of floss. And then you'll get the cloth. But the other thing I'd like to do a little bit different with this, because I think it is such a special stitch, is to let you guys pick what cloth you want to have. I feel like that's a lot of responsibility for me to pick what cloth you want. And I know that there are some uh, people who really like to stitch on higher counts or lower counts. Some people prefer to stitch on linen. Some people prefer to stick, stick completely to Ada. Um, so it's up to you. The deadline that I have on this reservation right now so that I can get stuff ordered and ready to go do I have a deadline on here? I think it's like, I don't have one on there. But if you want to choose your own cloth, then please let me know. I did reach out to the designer and I asked what cloth she would recommend in like a 16 count Ada that would be similar to what she used. I haven't heard back from her. 
I kind of don't think that I will. And so uh, just based off of the pictures, I don't know what cloth to use. It's almost like a gray, and it says in the pattern, like a gray color, almost like graceful gray maybe would look nice with that. Um, but I have to do a little bit more digging with that. So let me know if for those of you who have signed up, um, uh, let me know if you would like to choose your own cloth. If you don't want to choose your own cloth, that's totally fine too. Then you'll just get the cloth that's that's provided. And I still have to finalize that. And then the other thing that I haven't finalized yet either is if we're going to start in April or if we're going to wait and start in May. If anybody has any strong feelings about that, please let me know. I know that Little House Needleworks is doing a stitch along on their Facebook page that starts in April. Um, so if people kind of want to stitch along with that, then it makes sense for us to try to start in April as well. But that gives us a pretty short turnaround time for me to get everything ordered and get it here and ready to go. So if you want to join our Kringle Stitch Along, which I hope you do because it'll be lots of fun, reserve your spot on my website. The link is in the YouTube description below. If you want to choose your own cloth, let me know right away so then I can make a note of it and include that in my order. Otherwise, you'll get the default cloth that's chosen. Um, and I think that's it for the Kringle Stitch Along. Uh, I'm excited. I love that 18 count clay barn. So do I. So that's what I'm stitching on my farmhouse Christmas. I don't know if you noticed that, Kim, but I, which you, I think you are too, but it's discontinued. I reached out to them because I was going to try to order more of the 18 count clay barn gray uh, because I was enjoying it so much with this. And I thought, I love this color. This is great. I wanted to order it to have it available for other people. And it's been discontinued. I know. I was like, no, are you kidding me? It's been discontinued. And she's like, yeah, we just discontinued it. So it's no longer available, I, which really bums me out. Um, Sharon says, will you be carrying the fancy floss it calls for, for the Kringle stitch? My plan was not to carry it. But let me know if you feel strongly about that. I've kind of only, I'd have to look from my distributor to see if I can get it from them. If I can, then I have no problem ordering the fancy floss for the people who would prefer fancy floss. Because again, I want you to be happy with your stitch. And especially this one, I think is kind of a special one. So I want you to be happy with what you, what you get. So let me know if you really want to have a fancy floss. Um, uh, kit instead of DMC. I typically have only carried DMC partially because that's what I learned how to stitch on. And so I'm just a little bit traditional in that sense that I have always used that. And I thought, well, why change now? But I know that some people really like um, Classic Color Works or some of the other uh, thread floss that is out there. I'm totally open to that. So Sharon, just let me know. And I'd be happy to look and see if I can get that through my distributor. I looked once before and I want to say that I can, but I need to verify that because I'm not positive. But that's a good question. Thank you. So that's Kringles. I hope you guys will. Yeah, exactly. It'll depend on how expensive it is. I have seen the Fancy Floss Kit um, other places that they have put together for this pattern. And it's just the floss kit alone is about $50. And the DMC floss kit is about half that cost from what I've priced out. <clears throat> it's about half that cost. So the D going the DMC version is definitely less expensive, but it's totally up to you. I'm happy to do whatever, whatever you want and whatever I'm able to do. Like sometimes my hands are tied because I don't have an account set up with certain distributors. And so I can't. Um, but the pricing that I, uh, researched in trying to price it out for the, uh, stitch along description that I put on the website, the fancy floss pack was about twice the cost of the DMC pack. Okay. So that's Kringles. I hope you will join us for it. It's going to be a lot of fun and it'll be fun to stitch through this massive chart with some people. I'm excited about that. It's so super cute. So welcome to the forest, new stitch along reservation out online, Kringles, new stitch along reservation. If you're interested in joining us in Kringles, I would recommend that you do it 
join the, the stitch along sooner rather than later, because if we decide to start in April, that's, that's coming up fairly fast in order for me to get stuff ordered and get it ready to go to you. So please join sooner rather than later if you want to join our Kringle Stitch Along. And then I have been talking with Madam Chantilly over the last couple of weeks because I had a request from a customer and I looked at these patterns and I thought they were super cute. So I've been working with her a little bit on these patterns, what, you know, how many skeins of floss go for each pattern so that I can kind of price out and look into doing a stitch long. Well, you guys are the first to know because I've not posted anything about it. I try to save like fun stuff for you guys to hear first to kind of say thank you for joining me and for supporting me and kind of give you guys an inside scoop before I put it out there for everybody else. Um, I have posted on the website a tiered tray stitch along. So these tiered trays are super cute. Like this one is for Halloween. Let me see if I can get it up there close enough so that you guys can see. So these tiered trays are super popular. You see everybody decorating tiered trays. Well, she took that and put it into these cross stitch patterns and they're super, super cute. And so um, I would love to stitch this. I've had other requests to stitch it. So now it's out there, it's being offered. And I put together this Celebrate Tiered Trays Stitch Along by Madame Chantilly. She's been in contact with me. She's told me, um, so right now she has the patterns that she has out there for these tiered trays. She has Halloween, she has Christmas, she has Easter, spring, a Liberty one. So like a 4th of July one that's coming out pretty soon. A summer one is coming, but it's not drawn up yet. So that's kind of an inside scoop she told me about um, that a summer one is coming. And then she asked for our feedback. So I'm turning to you guys to give me some feedback. I said, are those the only series that you're, the only stitches you're going to offer for this series? Or are you going to offer more? And she said, well, I don't know. I don't want to bore people with just doing the same thing all the time. And I said, well, it kind of like, would you do a fall and winter one? Like that seems like it would complete the series. You know, if, you, if she added a fall and winter one, and she said, I don't know, what do your customers want? And so I want to ask you, that's going to be our question for the day for the giveaway. So I'll repeat it again at the end. But for next week's giveaway, I always ask you to answer a question. This week, we're going to try to help Madam Chantilly out and give her some feedback about what you would want for this, this tiered tray series. Would you like to see more tiered trays? Do you think that the number that she has right now already is enough? Would you like to see a fall and winter one? What are your thoughts about that? So you will comment in the YouTube description comment section below the description. Um, comment down there so then I can give her that feedback next week. That would be awesome. So she's been really nice. I reached out to her. She's been so nice to respond to me and to answer my questions and to try to help me be able to get all the information that I need to be able to provide it to you and to offer this to you. So I think it would be really cool to be able to get back to her with some feedback about if she should do more of these tier trays or not. So this right now, I think there's six, six designs right now. This stitch along reservation is online. It will work similarly to the previous uh, stitch alongs that we've done where each month you will get a new um, pattern floss kit. The cloth, you can fit two of these stitches on one piece of cloth. So then every other month you would get a new piece of cloth. The only thing I'm unsure about is these stitches are a little bit bigger than like the Frosty Forest, Farmhouse Christmas, Cottage of the Month. And so do we feel like one month is enough or do we want to do one every two months? So if you guys have thoughts about that, please let me know. I have some here. Kim says, what, what? I'm so excited. I've been holding out on those tiered trays and now I'm glad I did. It happened for a reason. I'm so glad somebody introduced me to this because I um, had heard of Madame Chantilly, but I didn't know about these tiered tray things. And then I went out and looked, searched for it. And once I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I'm thinking about, Kim, you posted something today um, that easel 
that like farmhouse metal easel that you finished a piece on today, I think I'm going to finish these and use these to put on that farmhouse easel and display it in my kitchen. So I'm kind of excited about that because I already have a finishing idea for them. But they're super cute. I mean, this Halloween one is adorable. There are pumpkins on the tiers. And then she has a Christmas one. And the Liberty one is really cute. Let me see if I can show you. Here's the Liberty one. Look at that. Fourth of July. I mean, to change it out every season. I love it. I'm just, I'm very excited about it. Kim says, I might need you to create a PayPal, a PayPal account that says Safeway so my husband doesn't complain about all my orders. <laughs> Just tell him it's for a good cause. It's it's your sanity and you're supporting a family business that we greatly, greatly appreciate. Sharon says, ha, 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 good one, Kim. Oh, that's funny. See, you guys make me laugh. That's, uh, that's part of the reason I look forward to these uh live streams because you make me chuckle okay so that's celebrate tiered trays so i hope some of you will all of you everybody i hope everybody will join in that stitch along i think they look very cute if you have any feedback about one one every month or one every other month let me know um i've kind of spelled as much of it out in uh the description online as possible again the link is below in the youtube description and this one will the goal is to maybe start it in May. Um, we can always push that back too. If people want to do that, I would have no problem starting it in June. Um, and then instead of starting with the spring stitch, maybe we would start with the 4th of July stitch. I'm open to that. Right now, some of my stitch along starting times are kind of uh, being influenced by budget. And so when I think I'm going to have fl enough flow to be able to purchase all the items for the stitch long. So that's kind of where the timing comes from. Um, but I can be open to that if people have other opinions or thoughts about that. So just let me know. So those are the new stitch longs that I have. I'm excited about those. I hope you will join. I pulled some patterns to share with you. I mean, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to share with you guys today. Okay, so I'm going to do the patterns quick first. Um, these are just a bunch of patterns that we have in the shop. I pulled a bunch that are kind of applicable to this time of year. Um, I have floss kits for some of these, but not all of them. I'm sorry, I'm behind on my floss kits. If you are looking for a floss kit, please just let me know. But I do have DMC available for individual sale online. So please order there as well. Even if I don't have it available in, in a floss kit, you can order the individual skeins. Um, so please feel free to do that. Help me get through some of my DMC. So this one is called Spring ABCs by Little House Needleworks. Oops, sorry. Super cute. This one is Carrots and Cottontails by Hands On Design. Very, very cute. This one is called Seasonal Celebrations by Country Cottage Neal Works. And this one is Spring. It's very cute. Square Dance. I have all of the months of Square Dance in the shop. This one is April, April May, and June. That's by Heart and Hand. This one is super cute called Bless, Bless Our Home by Country Cottage Neal Works for a little 4th of July patriotic stitch. This one is by Plum Street Samplers and it's called the Milk and Cream Company or Milk and Cream Co. This one has been very popular by Hands On Design. It's called Knee High, Knee High by the 4th of July. This one has been very popular. This one is Hip Hop Chalk Full by um, hands-on design. Very cute for Easter. And then this one, some of these I pulled because they've been getting a lot of attention lately on in the shop. This one is So She Did by It's So Emma. And you can see it behind me right there. Um, I have the cloth, the pattern, the buttons, and I might have floss kits left. I'm not quite sure. I sold some this week, so I'm not sure if I have more left or not. But those are a bunch of stitches that are available in the shop. 
So please take a peek at those. And then, can you hear my, my daughter? She's winding down for her nap. And then my friend, um, needle minders. First, let me talk about that. Otherwise, I'll forget. Needle minders. Uh, I have a bunch in the store. But I have been in discussions with Beverly McCullough of Flamingo Toes. And she has needle minders that are coming. And she gave me kind of an inside scoop that they are coming like next week. So stay tuned for next week. As soon as she lets me know that she has them, I'm going to place an order and I'm going to get her new needle minders and I'm going to have them shipped to me. And um, I should have them available next week. So if you're looking for her latest, greatest needle minders, keep an eye on happylittlestitchshop.com. I will put them in the shop as soon as I have them and they are going to be so cute. I'm so excited to get them and I will share them in next week's live stream. So stay tuned for that. Up, new needle minders are coming. So stay tuned for that. I serious, Sam's Gillum says, I seriously love her needle minders. Me too. Like I love, love, love them. And so I've kind of been hounding her a little bit like, can you give me a hint about your needle minders? Can you tell me? So as those of you who kind of keep an eye on quilting as well, she has a new fabric line that's coming out this month. Hopefully it will come this month. I don't know if there have been any delays, but it's due to come in March. And it's called Singing in the Rain. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about it when I get into the quilting stuff. But she told me that her needle minders, as along with her new cross stitch patterns, which she kind of shared a peek of yesterday on Instagram, and I shared it as well, um, are going to be along that same theme. So it'll be have kind of a singing in the rain feeling. So she didn't tell me specifically what the needle minders would be, but I'm imagining in my wildest dreams that there will be like umbrellas and maybe some galoshes and floral umbrellas probably. Um, so I'm really excited to see them. So don't go look anyplace else. Come back to Happy Little Stitch Shop because I hope that I should have them next week. I hope. So fingers crossed. But they are coming. So she told me that. They're coming very soon. Um, and then just to make my life, my stitching life really happy, I'm going to share with you these new project bags that I got. I reached out to my friend Sharon, who is like an amazing project bag maker. I have made project bags before in my life. And actually the first couple times that I made them, I made one for my daughter and I made one for myself. The first few times that I made them, I enjoyed it. I liked the process. It was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And then after that, I did not enjoy it much anymore. Like I tried to make one for my mom and I must have been like really excited to give it to her. And I was kind of rushing through the process, I think. And I just ended up being really frustrated. I think my excitement to, to gift it to her led to frustration, which led to me never wanting to make project bags again. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I might make them again at some point, but I leave that to the professionals. And Sharon does such a good job. She's such a great project bag maker. And so I reached out to her and I said, Sharon, will you make me some project bags? <laughs> And of course, in the midst of her crazy busy life, like she just welcomed a new grandchild. She's got a lot of stuff going on. She's like, yes, of course, I'll make you one, which I so appre appreciated. One turned into two. And so I'm going to share these with you because I love them. It, I like to be organized when I stitch and um, it makes me happy, which sounds crazy. But I have probably thanked Sharon an obnoxious amount of times because every time I go to stitch now, like before I had it all shoved in the one project bag that I made for myself, I don't have a lot of project bags. And now that I'm doing multiple stitches all at one time, I really wanted to have different bags for each one. And so uh, now that I have these and I feel more organized and I just feel better and I, it makes me happy. And these bags are so pretty that they make me really happy when I stitch. And so I have been like obnoxiously stalking Sharon, thanking her profusely for making these bags for me. I really, really appreciated it. So the first one, which I requested to have a Snoopy bag, pay no attention to my little floss flowers that are in there. So she made me this Snoopy bag. Look at this. She was literally in 
Joanne's, picking out fabric, messaging me pictures, which was probably torture for her because I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know things. It's hard for me to explain things that I like, but it's not hard for me to know what I don't like, if that makes any sense, which might make it really difficult for somebody who's trying to make something for me. So look at this bag and it's got a little Snoopy charm. Do you see that? I love it. I love, love, love it. So Snoopy bag and then one turned into two because, you know, I like camping and I've shared some of our camping stories on here before. She made me this camping bag. Look at that. And the rickrack at the bottom and the campers on the back and the camper charm. Look at that. I mean, that's how it makes me feel. That sigh of like, that's the happiness that I feel when I use these bags. I'm not kidding. I mean, it's kind of insane, right? Like it's kind of weird. Somebody can get so excited about project bags, but I'm also the person who gets excited about school supplies, right? Like, is there anybody else out there who is like that? I get excited about school supplies, all those organizational things. It just, oh, I love it. Kim says, oh, I've eyed her bags too. They sell so fast. Gorgeous Sharon, love those colors too. She does a great job with picking fabric. Like some stuff I would not pick. And then she puts it together and I think, oh, that's really great. I really like that. Stuff that I wouldn't normally put together, but it looks wonderful when she does it. And the campers, the nicest touch is that she quilts them. Yep, it's beautiful. And Sharon says, thank you. I plan on making more very soon. Yes, so I have more. I'm going to talk more about Sharon at the end. Um, but she is going to be making more of these bags and offering them to sell to people. And on Instagram, you can find her at Sharon's Bags and More. And I've linked her in the description below. But there's more Sharon to come. So stay tuned. Uh, Sam Gillum says, I love project bags too. And yes, school supplies too. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I, my husband thinks it's a little weird. But I think it's very responsible to like organizational things. Um, so I'm, very, I'm so happy with these project bags. I couldn't wait to share them with you because ah, I love them. Okay, moving on. Let's keep going, people. Um, quilting. Let's move on to quilting because I think that's all the cross-stitch stuff for right now. I have something else at the end, so stay tuned. Uh, Nancy says, those are so cool. I want to try to make one, but I haven't had time yet. That's the other thing is I don't have a lot of time anymore. And so just the frustration and the lack of time, I'm so fortunate and lucky to be able to bug Sharon about it. And thankfully she has not said no to me yet. <laughs> so hopefully that will continue to be the case. Um, Cause I would like some more at some point later. Um, quilting. Okay. So as I said to you before, I'm prepping for future. I've gotten catalogs for future lines that are coming. I need to pick stuff out for, July, August, September. So if you have any information or feedback about that, let me know. What I have in the shop right now that I need to start get, to get moving. Summer Sweet. Summer Sweet pre-cuts. Sharon says, ha ha, you're too funny, Angela. I try. We should see how much lucky my husband is to have me in his life. And my kids. They're so lucky. Um, Summer Sweet pre-cuts. So I have... New, I have a few charm packs left. Charm packs have sold, I've sold a fair amount of those. So I have a few charm packs left. If you're looking for summer sweet charm packs, I only have a few left. So get them while you can. And then I have a few layer cakes left. The layer cakes have sold pretty well too. So I only have a few of those left. Um, so if you're looking for summer sweet uh, layer cakes, get them on the website, happylittlestitchshop.com. And then I have uh, fat aid bundles and fat, quarter bundles that I uh, have had some luck selling, but I still have a bunch of these left. So I'm trying to sell these puppies. And this fabric, like I said before, I couldn't resist adding it to the store because it is so darn pretty. Look at this. Look at those colors. They are so cute. I mean, she's got like these grays, these teals, or aqua. That's probably aqua. Um, kind of this lime green, kind of a peachy color, yellow kind of a melon reddish color. And then 
maybe that's more peach. This other one is more like cantaloupe colored. And then cream. It's so pretty. This would be a great addition to your fabric collection because it's so versatile. It's so pretty. You can use it with a bunch of other patterns that are out there. So I have fat quarter bundles, fat eighth bundles of summer sweet. And then other stuff that I have in the shop that I'm trying to move along. Baked with love. This is my single last kit left that is getting too comfortable here. Like I need to start mistreating it because it seems to like being here too much. So in this, you get a layer cake, the pattern, and then all the additional fabric for the quilt top and binding. And then I've got yardage in the shop for the backing. I think she used cloud laundry on her backing, which I do have that in the shop. I also have the wide back, which I have sold a fair amount of lately. So I'm getting down there with that, but lots of yardage in the shop for backing. So here's the baked with love quilt kit. Um, it is available in the shop and that's here and ready to ship. Um, let me see. I love Sherry and Chelsea's fabric. I have something from every one of their fabric lines. Nancy, do you have Summer Sweet yet? Because there's this cute little shop called Happy Little Stitch Shop, and they happen to have some. They do have cute lines, and they have another one coming out. Is it called Balboa? I just was looking through the catalog and saw their next line that's coming, which is pretty cute. And um, Corey Yoder, hers caught my eye, too called apricots and ashes or ashes and apricots, something with apricots and ashes in some order. Um, so there's some cute stuff coming up too. Kim Fischlin says, I need to start mistreating it. I'm not kidding. I would, I would like to part with that. Um, okay, so then the other two kits that I have in the shop ready to ship to you are Bunnies in the Garden and Daisy Dew. These kits are adorable. This Bunnies in the Garden one is so affordable for a cute quilt to give to someone or to give to your kid. It's, it's just, it's adorable. Here's Bunnies in the Garden. So for this quilt kit, you get the pattern and then you get um, this bundle of fabric and then you get a jelly roll. So this is what you get for quilt top and binding. And then the backing for, uh, is this? Here is the backing. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Cream bouquet. That's the backing for bunnies in the garden. It's such a cute, I mean, it's a really cute quilt. It's really cute. So buy bunnies in the garden. It's really affordable. Um, and then we have Daisy Dew. Oh, Nancy, you did. You're one of the people who got the charm, charm pack. It's cute. It's a very pretty line of fabric. I hope that you will share what you're doing with the charm pack. I think I wrote that in my note to you because I like to see what you guys are creating with that. Um, Kim just made an adorable project bag with her mini charm pack of Summer Sweet. It was so pretty. I love it. Um, okay, here's Daisy Dew. This is the part of the quilt kit for Daisy Dew. You get the pattern. You get this chunky bundle of wonderful fabric, including this navy confetti, which is very pretty. And then you get a fat eighth bundle of all of the um, pieces in the fabric collection. So look at this. It's like 29 different pieces of fabric. And this Daisy Dew quilt kit, I mean, talk about having something to wrap up in. It's like wrapping up in happiness, right? I said one time before, it <laughs> reminds me of like not feeling well and wrapping up in a quilt. It reminds me of like Meg Ryan in You've Got Mail where she's not feeling well and she's carrying around that base of daisies. That's what makes you think of Daisy Dew, Meg Ryan. And Meg Ryan and You've Got Mail, how can that not make you happy? So here's Daisy Dew, Daisy Dew quilt kit. And then here's the backing for Daisy Dew. And this backing is probably one of my favorite 
from this line. It's so pretty. The blue bouquet. It's adorable. Okay, so those are all the kits that I have in the shop. Please, if you're interested in them, place your orders. The links are all below in the YouTube description. And then, as you know, in March, I have three quilts coming in March. I don't know when they're coming, but they're coming sometime in March. Maybe March, unless they're delayed. Then it might not be till April. But they're coming soon. They're supposed to be coming soon. The first one is Dwell 2. This one has been, these reservations have been kind of flying off the shelf. People are very excited about this. It's adorable. I'm going to have the backing in stock as well. The backing looks gorgeous. I saw this in person a few months ago. It's The colors are just really, really pretty. So I'm very excited to get this. As soon as I get it, for those of you who have already reserved your kit, as soon as I get it, I'll get it cut up, get your kit ready to go, send you your invoice and get it out the door to you. So I've had a fair number of reservations for this. So if it's something you're interested in, reserve it. So then you're sure to get it because it, the reservations are going pretty quickly on this. Um, and the way that it works, the total cost for the quilt is $89.98, which is so reasonable for a quilt kit because this quilt measures 59 by 71. I mean, it's a really good size quilt. And um, for $89.98, like that's great. That's a great price. And so the way the reservation works is you pay $24.98 to reserve your kit. That gets deducted from the $89.98. So then you'll be invoiced for the remaining balance, which would be $65. And then I'll get it out the door to you. So that's Dwell 2. And that's by Bonnie and Camille using their new um, fabric line that's releasing this month called At Home. So if you're interested in that one, please put your reservation, reservation through. Then we'll move on to Flamingo Toes, Beverly McCullough, who is a sweetheart, and send her some healing vibes. She's had a, like a nasty bug, and so she needs some healing vibes sent her way. But the first one that I'm offering is win, um, Gingham Windows. This one is so cute because they look like little windows. Look at that. And it uses her um, new fabric that's coming called Singing in the Rain, and the fabric is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All the patterns in it. I mean, I've gone on and on about it before. I just, it's just very, very pretty. So this one, I've also received a good number of reservations for. If it's something you're interested in, please reserve it. Um, so then you're sure to get it. And then the other Beverly McCullough one that I will be offering is the Singing in the Rain um, quilt kit. And I will have backing for all of these as well. So Singing in the Rain, this one is so cute. And this is what her cross stitch is. So if you saw her post yesterday and the one that I shared, her cross stitch is based off of this, this quilt. It's so darling. And the backing is so darn cute. And again, I have a good number of reservations for these. I only have a limited number of kits that I pre-ordered for. So um, a number of those reservations, those kits are, are already reserved and spoken for. So if you would like Singing in the Rain, please reserve it. Then you will be sure to get it. Um, so those are coming sometime this month. And I'm very excited about it. And the surprise that I was going to try to show you this week didn't arrive in time. Um, but it will be here next week. That's what I've been told. That's what she said is that it will be here next week. So tune in next week so that you can see firsthand the surprise that I have been working on trying to get to be able to show you. I'm very excited about it. Tune in next week so that you can, um, uh, see it. Okay. So on Instagram, I only have 57 seconds remaining. <laughs> on the live stream. So for anybody on Instagram, go to YouTube so that you can watch Happy Little Stitch Shop YouTube channel and you can watch because I'm doing giveaways at the end. So you don't want to miss out because I have a really big giveaway that I'm doing. So go to YouTube and watch there. Okay. Then other ones that are coming soon. So these are coming really soon. The ones that I just showed you. I am announcing today that in May, I have um, pre-ordered fabric from April Rosenthal's new fabric line that's coming out that is called Midnight Magic. 
So you, if you follow her, you may have seen some of her posts of this fabric. This fabric was wildly popular at Quilt Market. And I was looking for a Halloween fabric, fabric to offer, but one that wasn't too um, over the top. And it, this one is really, really cute. And I'm putting together one or two, I can't remember now, two two quilt kits that will go with this fabric. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So that will be coming in May. I don't have any pre-orders or anything like that out yet. Um, but that's, that will be coming in May. That'll be kind of my May fabric line that I will be trying to promote. And then in June, I have, um, the, the sweet snow, or Snow Sweet, I think it's called. So here's the quilt kit for the Snow Sweet. I've talked about this before. I love it. This is one of my favorite upcoming quilts. So I'll have some of the fabric that goes with that as well. I'll have backing for it. I mean, any quilt kit that I offer, I always get backing for it. Um, so that's coming in, in June. And then also in June, as I've told you before, I have the Dear Christmas uh, line. And this is the first line of fabric that I will be carrying the entire line. So, oh, good. Thank you, Kim, for jumping over from Instagram. <laughs> um, so the Dear Christmas line, I will have the entire line. So if you are looking for Dear Christmas, look at Happy Little Stitch Shop, because um, I will I will be carrying the entire line, and I've never done that before, and I'm a little nervous about it. Um, one of the kits that I'll be, that I'll have available is this deer kit. I'm taking reservations for this right now. So there is a reservation out on the website. I have had a, a fair amount of people sign up for reservations. So I still have a good number left. Uh, I don't think you're in any worry of not having it be available yet. Uh, but if you're interested in the deer Christmas uh, quilt kit, it's a pre-packaged kit. It comes in a keepsake box. That's very cute. Um, then I would reserve this in the shop. Okay, and then I just added last night the Dear Christmas panel. So this one I just added last night. You can reserve this. Again, I ordered a limited number of them. So if you're interested in the Dear panel, um, you can reserve that. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that. You can reserve that online. The reservation for this one is $4.98, so $4.98, and then you'll pay the remaining balance at the time when it arrives. Um, and this is due to arrive in June, from what I've been told. So that deer panel has been added to the website. Um, I've talked about yardage. I told you the surprise didn't arrive this week, but it should be here next week, so be sure you turn, tune in for that. Okay, let's move on to giveaways. That's it for all the shop stuff. Again, all the links for all that stuff are in the description below. I hope you will check it out. I hope you will shop with us. We so appreciate your business and your support. Uh, my kids have actually started to make little thank you cards to put in your packages. Um, so some of you, they haven't made enough to put in all of the packages, but some of you might get a little thank you card from one of my kids, they like to do art stuff, and every once in a while I'll say, hey, drop a, you know, make a little thank you card. And they're like, oh, that would be great. So they were all excited about that the other day and made a few. Okay, so giveaway. So last week, you needed to answer a question. I can't remember, oh, what, what fabric lines you're looking forward to that are coming up. And you could win, this is giveaway number one, the Fala La Cross Stitch and Floss Kit. So we're going to draw... For that, right now, the winner for the cross stitch and the floss kit is Teresa St. Hilaire. I think I'm saying that correctly. Sorry, Teresa, if I did not. Oh, she wanted the quilting stuff. Okay, so she won the quilting stuff. <laughs> this is a piece of fabric uh, that was the other giveaway. So, Teresa, congratulations. You won the... Fabric, the yardage from Lori Holt's Vintage Happy 2. It's the wide back yardage. So congratulations. I'll be getting that out the door to you. I believe I have your uh, address in the system. Now let's do this again for the cross stitch. 
the cross stitch and floss kit. The winner is Terry Phelps. Congratulations, Terry. So I don't, Terry, I'm not sure if I have your information. If I do, then I'll get this out the door to you today. If I don't, if you could please send me um, an email to happylittlestitchshop at gmail.com and just make sure that I have your address so I have some place to send this. But congratulations, Terry, and congratulations, Teresa. Yay! Now, for next week's, again, the question that I had asked for next week's giveaways that you need to answer, you need to be sure you're following me on Instagram or Facebook. You need to be sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and then answer in the YouTube comments the question about if you would like to see more tiered tray cross stitch patterns from Madame Chantilly. If you would like to see winter and fall, if you don't want to see any more, what are, what's your feedback about that? So then I can give that feedback back to her. So the first prize that you can win is this Flip It St. Patrick's Day because next week is St. Patrick's Day. And so I wanted to pick an Irish. I didn't have any more of my other uh, patterns left. Those all sold out, but I had one of these. This is by Lizzie Kate. And it's Flip It St. Patrick's. So drawing number one, or one of the drawings, will be for, for this. And then drawing number two will be for um, this yard of fabric from Vintage Happy 2 by Lori Holt. So comment in the section, uh, comment section on YouTube if you would like to see more tiered tray patterns from Madame Chantilly or not and then you would be entered into the drawing for one of those two prizes. And then I have a big surprise for my farmhouse Christmas stitchers. Sharon contacted me uh, this past week and she said um, she wanted to donate a special giveaway for farmhouse Christmas stitchers. I was gonna originally wait until the end of the month and do it during the normal drawing, but I really want whoever wins this to get it so that you can use it and enjoy it right away. So this was super nice of Sharon to donate this for us to give away. I am so thankful for that. And here it is. It's a project bag. Look at this. And it's like a farmhouse Christmas project bag. So there's barn wood, the see the little barns, the Christmas barns. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then it's got a handle and it's got a barn charm. And then on the back, it's got the quilted Christmas fabric. So this was donated by Sharon from Sharon's Bags and More on Instagram. She is going to be putting out um, more bags that will be available for purchase but you need to follow her on Instagram in order to be kept in the loop on all of that. So go to Instagram, look for Sharon's bags and more and follow her. So then you can be in the loop on uh, project bags that she has available. So we're going to draw for this right now. And I'm going to get this in the mail to you like today, maybe. Um, so then you can enjoy it for the whole stitch along series. Oh my gosh, let me just fell out. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. And then each month we'll do another drawing. So, I mean, they're not going to compare to this one, but you'll still win something. Okay. Woo! The winner is Emerald Perez. She just joined our farmhouse stitch along and she's from Alaska. Emerald, congratulations. Look what you won. <coughs> it's got me choked up. You won this farmhouse Christmas bag. It's amazing. Congratulations, Emerald. I'm so excited for you. Okay. That was a lot of excitement for one day. I'm kind of tired. So the rest of the farmhouse Christmas, we will, like I said, we're going to do a drawing each month. So this was our drawing for this month. Um, and then we will do a another drawing each month for the whole stitch along. So people will still have a chance to win some little prizes. Is that it? I think that's it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, happy.little.stitch.shop. 
and on Facebook, Happy Little Stitch Shop. And be sure to subscribe to Happy Little Stitch Shop YouTube channel. So Kim says, yay, Emerald. So happy for you. See, this is such a friendly and nice and supportive community. Nancy Anderson says, congratulations. Very exciting. I know. I wish I had one to give to all of you. That would be amazing. But I don't. But, I mean, Sharon, thank you so, so much for donating that. That was so sweet and thoughtful. I mean, she found this fabric. And she, this is perfect for farmhouse Christmas stitch along. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm, I was so excited. I, who was I kidding? How was I going to be able to wait till the end of the month in order to give that away? My gosh, there's no way. I was so excited about my own project bags. And then that one was included with it. And then I was like, what? I was so excited. So congratulations to all of our winners. I love giving stuff away. Thank you for joining me today. I won't take up any more of your time. Today went a little bit long and I'm sorry for that. I usually try to keep it under an hour um, or right around 45 minutes. Uh, there was just so much stuff to get through today. So please join me for next week. I have some really exciting stuff to share with you. Um, so I hope that you'll join in next week. And of course, we'll have more giveaways and we'll do the drawing for this week's winners. Uh, make sure you answer the question in the comments below. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy stitching. Have a great, great week. Take care, everybody.